If you're a content creator, you need to hear this piece of advice. And this is something I have learned along the way. And this is the biggest piece of advice I give to everybody who will listen, all of my students, all of my members, all of my followers, because it is so instrumental in your success. And that is to ask the question, shoot your shot. Do not worry about getting a no response. When we want to do something, when we are excited about something, we want to reach out. We want to include people. We want to invite people. We want to ask the questions, but we're so afraid of rejection that we do not take that step forward. But let me paint you a little picture here. Let's say you've got a really cool idea and you want to do something, but you're nervous about asking the question and being rejected. What is the worst thing that can happen? The person tells you no. And if that person says, no, they will not do this, or they can't help you with this, or they're not going to open a door for you, where does that leave you? In the exact same place you were. Nothing happens to you. Nothing bad happens when someone tells you no. But if you ask the question and they say yes, now all of the doors are open to you. You have access to that person, to those things, to those opportunities. Asking the question either leads to a no and nothing changes for you, or a yes and everything does. And so as a content creator, as somebody who is working to build up your influence in this space, you have to be okay asking the questions. And it's uncomfortable at first. I know it is. I had to go through this process too. But the more you do it, the more you're going to get yeses and the more you're going to get rejected. And when you get yeses, doors open. When you get rejected, then you learn how to pivot and do something else. I always ask the question. If I want somebody to come on my show, I'll ask them. If I want them to be involved in something, I will ask them. If I want to learn something, I will ask them. I will always ask the question, even if it's a silly question, even if it's a dumb question, even if it's going to be something that people are going to look at me for, even if it you know, involves me stepping out in front of a lot of people and asking these questions, I'm going to do it because it opens doors for me. It allows me to do new things. And if they say no, I am in no worse shape. I am in no place different than where I already was. Now I can pivot. I can look and see where else can I go? Who else can I speak to? How else can I do this? If I can't get help with this, how can I do this myself? And so getting rejected again and again and again allows you to get more creative so that you can build up what you're doing so that you can thrive better, faster, easier, and without the help of a lot of people. So Asking the questions, even if it feels silly, even if it feels like you're putting a bit of a spotlight on yourself, even if you feel like you might be a little embarrassed if they say no, is worth doing. Because in absolute worst case, you were exactly where you were before and you tried. And best case, you are doing really, really cool things. So I know it can be scary. I know that it can be scary to get rejected. We don't want to be rejected as humans. We want to be accepted. We want to be looked at favorably. We want to not feel embarrassed. But the more you do it, the better you get at it. And the less hard it is to hear the word no. So I highly recommend you as a content creator, you as a human, start setting yourself up for rejections little things, little things that you get told no for. And it doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be in the public eye. You can set yourself up to get no answers and no responses from your friends and from your family, from your puppy dogs who are making noise. You can set yourself up for little tiny rejections that aren't going to hurt you. Have a conversation with your people. Tell them, I'm over this week, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Please tell me no. Please reject me on these things. And go through that process if you need to set it up for yourself to build up your stamina for this. But really, just set yourself up to get rejected or to get accepted. Go to a restaurant and ask for something that's not on the menu. And they'll tell you no if they can't do it for you. And ta-da, you've been rejected. Was it hard? Was it difficult? Was it problematic? No. But they told you no, and now you can move forward with something else. Learn to go through those rejections and pivot to do other things. So that when you get up to the bigger things, the more important things, the things that actually mean something to you, it doesn't hurt as much. You know how to get through that. Asking questions as a content creator is what's going to open doors for you. And if it doesn't open the door immediately, it shows you where to go to open the door. So no is not a scary thing. No will not hurt you. But yes, yes is going to get you places. And the more you do this, the easier it becomes to get the yeses and to navigate the rejections. The more you do this, the more opportunities you build for yourself. And the more you ask questions, the less hard or the less um, embarrassing it becomes for you to ask those questions. I am more than willing at this point in my life and career to walk up to anybody at any point in any fashion with any amount of eyes watching me and ask questions, make requests, have conversations, do things that other people would be fearful of doing without hesitation. 
because it doesn't matter how it plays out, I'm going to be fine. And I would rather have asked the question and been told no and figure out something else to do than to not have asked it. Because if you don't ask the question, the answer is always no. So asking leads to a yes or a no, but not asking always leads to a no. So ask the questions, set yourself up for rejection after rejection after rejection and learn how to navigate and pivot that so that you can start getting more of those yeses and open even more doors too. Drop your questions down below, follow along for more content creator advice and daily tutorials helping you navigate the world of social media so you can spend less time creating your content but make more money from it so you can live your best life while also living out your entrepreneurial dreams. We'll see you in the upcoming episodes.